Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my Anthem brothers and sisters, my gaming brothers and sisters. How is everyone doing today? If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button for all your, well, gaming fun and news right here, right now. My friends, it is a solemn, solemn moment. It has taken me a few days to wrap my head around everything that has happened within the world of Anthem. If you're not familiar with what is going on, and by now I would assume you have been, I should have released this video a while ago, but I needed some time to just sit down and wrap my head around everything. If you are unaware and are living underneath a rock or just don't care, Anthem has been canceled i mean hell we live in a world right now where everything is being canceled so why not anthem so ea has killed anthem has decided in its oh superior wisdom to cancel this game now we will get into what christian daily had to say about this in just a moment but i just wanted to say that i for one am saddened by this news i took it a lot harder than i thought i would and i know my dear friend william is taking it really hard as well and a lot of other content creators and people who are just the the small yes the small but extremely loyal community to this game are really taking a hard time with it with the news that ea has decided to stop all um, everything with Anthem next and just keep the uh, servers as they are right now. So pretty much the game is in maintenance mode. Legitimately, it's in, it's in maintenance mode. That's where we are right now. So let's just get into the article of what Chris and Daly had to say about Anthem and all that jazz right there. So here we have it from Christian Daly. It says, in the spirit of transparency and closure, we wanted to share that we've made the difficult decision to stop our new development work on Anthem, a.k.a. Anthem Next. We will, however, continue to keep the Anthem live service running as it exists today. Hashtag maintenance mode. Since Anthem's launch, the team has been working hard to continually improve the game, releasing multiple updates that brought with them a variety of improvements and introduced new content to play. Towards the end of 2019, we expanded on that effort and started working on a more fundamental restructure of the game. During the development, we provided updates revealing some of the team's work through blog posts, and I might add a lot of the blog posts, if not all the blog posts that they had to say, the pictures and the artwork that they were working on and the ideas they had were phenomenal, and I was excited for it. He continues, and the conversations with you on social media and and it's been inspiring for us to see the positive reactions and feedback, just not EA. I've been incredibly proud of the work, not EA. The team has been doing and excited to see and play each new build of the experience. 2020, however, was a year unlike any other. And while we continue to make progress against all our game projects at Bioware, working from home during the pandemic, I don't know. I, I, I know it's a thing, but I'm kind of getting tired of hearing that excuse. But, hey, don't don't fling the arrows at me. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. it's I'm so done with this whole thing. You have no idea. He continues. Has had an impact, which I, which I will say. It, it more than, it, it did. It did have a, it did have an impact. But I honestly think at the end of the day, whether I have signed contracts with EA, whether if I'm an influencer or whatnot, at the end of the freaking day, EA, all they saw were money signs, and they saw that for some reason, Madden and the freaking soccer stupid games make a lot more money than Anthem did, and so they put that sucker on the back burner and decided to cancel that, but hey, you know what? EA's never been, never been known to make wise decisions when it comes to any other game. Sorry, I'm ranting, but it's going to happen. I don't care. They continue... The pandemic has had an impact on our productivity and not everyone, everything was had, we had planned as a studio before COVID-19, I can't say that for, before the thing can be accomplished. Why is that even a thing that gets you demonetized? Like what, I'm not going to get in my soapbox without putting undue stress on our teams. 
Jason Shriver would be upset about that because he thrives off people being underneath the, the push and the crush over there in the inter, in the gaming industries. Let me tell you, I don't like him either. I know this will be disappointing to the community and Anthem players who have been excited to see the improvements we've been working on. It's also disappointing for the team who've been doing brilliant work, which I might add, the team has been doing amazing work and, you know, my heart and beard goes out to all the people at BioWare who, thankfully... I found new jobs working on Dragon Age. That is a great blessing right there. I'm really happy to hear that. But, yeah, these guys put so much work in over a year on redeveloping Anthem and trying to get it to where it honestly should have been when they launched a freaking game. Uh, but they decided not to. They pushed this game out a little too soon when it should not have. It wasn't done in the oven yet. Uh, but they did. Uh, he continues, and for me personally, Anthem is what brought me to Bioware in the last two years have been some of the most challenging and rewarding experiences of my life. Game development is hard. Decisions like these are not easy, unless you're EA. Moving forward, we need to, to laser focus on efforts as a studio and strengthen the next Dragon Age and Mass Effect titles while continuing to provide quality updates to Star Wars The Old Republic. Hey, at least they mentioned SOTOR. I will give them that. At least they mentioned SOTOR. Now the sentence to provide quality updates, that kind of makes me raise an eyebrow. Like, why not, you know, what, what's a, what does that mean? What does that mean exactly? Quality updates. What does that mean? I'm not trying to poo-poo and make this a complete hater click what click hater video, but I'm uh, I am frustrated and annoyed at EA. And I'm also annoyed with how they continue to treat Star Wars The Old Republic like a freaking redheaded stepchild. Uh, apologies to all the redheaded stepchilds out there. He concludes, to the Anthem community, thank you for your passion and creativity. Your feedback and suggestions most certainly help shape the team's direction. And on a personal note, your kindness and encouragement were much needed last year. Please stay safe and be kind to each other. Stay strong alone, stronger together, Christian. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I mean, my heart goes out to Christian daily. My heart goes out to the entire Bioware team in Austin who has been working on Anthem. But... Well, let's just, uh, we're going to, uh, the truth is truth. They bungled this release on Anthem since day one. They did. I love this game. I think this game has a great story. It really t pisses me off that, that you know, they're not going to be able to expand on the story. The p freaking potential that this game freaking has and that annoys me so much that a game that has so much freaking potential and all this stuff, they will are willing to sacrifice this game. And the thing that gets me the most is EA put an article out right after the announcement that Anthem was to be uh, killed off, uh, talking about how the player is our northern and guiding star. Yes. In what reality does the player of any of your games outside of Madden and Fight FIFA um, actually um, guide you in what you're going to do? Listen, I don't care. I'm a big I'm I, I I'm a big company guy. I like companies. I'm a I love all that stuff. But at the same time, you want to talk about a company that's tone deaf outside of Activision Blizzard? Uh, it's Electronic Arts. EA is so tone deaf to its community, it's not even funny. And so they took a game like Anthem, an amazing game. Yes, it had its problems. That is for darn sure. The loot system was horrible at the start. It was. They rushed this game out before it was needed to be out. They could have taken some time, but it seemed like in 2019, that just seemed to be the thing you did with your video games. Fallout 76 is also on the altar of sacrifice on this one. There was a lot of issues with that game as well. But guess what? The company stuck behind that game, and the game is doing a lot better than when it was. But this time around, I am honestly starting to grow concerned for Bioware Austin because it seems that this, this kind of junk is starting to come out of this Bioware Austin, but not Bioware Edmonton. Edmonton's working on Dragon Age. It's working on some of the big titles there. So I kind of sit here and wonder, what is it exactly that Austin is doing at the moment? Now, I know a lot of people that work at the Bioware Austin studios. I think they're great people. They're amazing people. They're great. They're just great people. I'm just saying that. But at the same time, I'm starting to wonder, Bioware Austin, what is going on with you? What 
the heck is going on? I cannot I cannot help but think that EA has Bioware Austin underneath the crosshairs right now and wondering just what the F they are up to and doing. I mean, let's not be let's not be naive about this. EA kills off a game with a great and amazing potential. It does. But it keeps games that you're just like, I've never heard of that game before. Whatever. This game, uh, Anthem, had an amazing, still has an amazing uh, loyal community backing it and behind it. And there are many who are hoping another studio just buys out uh, Anthem outright and just redoes it from scratch there. It's a thing. But there's a reason why people... Um, quote unquote left the Bioware or as I like to think of it as they had two decisions be fired or gracefully resign uh, from the bunglement that happened with this game it just it just saddens me it just really frustrates me and just makes me just shake my head that they these people who you know a lot of them aren't at Bioware anymore but these people had such a great potential of a game and story in their hands and they done effed it up they did and ea is just as responsible as everyone else like i said i love anthem i really wish they had decided to continue with anthem next to give it that redemption story that it deserves like final fantasy 14 got uh and i think it could have been very very successful however ea in all its uh dictate dictatorial um uh, grace and whatnot has decided against that so there you have it anthem next anthem as itself is dead unfortunately sadly my beard weeps over this announcement uh but it is a thing so where do we go from here now there are tons of games out there destiny still piling on talking about another redemption story there but there are other games in this genre and there are new games coming out i just wish that anthem was up there to actually showcase the true potential it had and talk about a story that will be eternally snuffed out i would love i would have loved to have seen how this story worked out i was invested in it not just because i'm a content creator for it or i did news about anthem just i really enjoyed the genuinely enjoyed the game but anyways my friends put your comments in the comment section below i know there's some people like i totally told you the anthem was sucked and it wasn't gonna go anywhere listen i know y'all live out there i know y'all feed off that stuff you know you be you but at the same time let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that like button if you like what you see here. The more likes you get, the more the algorithm actually likes us. Make sure you hit the video, hit the share button, and uh, hit the bell notification button for when we do more videos here. And as always, my friends, make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button. Come part of the family here at Boomy Nation, the freak show of YouTube, the black sheep of gaming. And as always, my friends, remember to be kind. It's about community. And, you know, strong alone. Strong and together, my friends. Anthem will live on in our hearts. We'll see you later, my friends. Good day. Kill all the grabbits.